We are right along the Tennessee River here in Knoxville, Tennessee. And there's an exciting football game that's about to start. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he shoved out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Georgia staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. right stop for a loss I, I think calling the plays you've got to be aware of this guy he's making too many plays and when he's that close to the line of scrimmage defending the run not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage you've got to do something to make him pay for that if he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage if you're calling the plays listen up it's a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head run right side He's knocked out of bounds around the 44-yard line. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Throws complete. He's hammered. Number nine with the tackle at the 39-yard line. That brings up second and five. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Everybody up close, it looks like they're coming after this kick. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Grabs it and hammered right there. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. Out of bounds at the 36-yard line. outside after a nice pickup seven yards there for the halfback and he also picks up a new set of downs it's a nice option play here by the offense running back took the pitch and got a nice gain to move the chain and they make the stop at about the 45 Tackle made at the 32. From the 32-yard line. 
First down. Roger, Roger. Check number six. Check number Red two. Six. He's going to try and scramble. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Six yards. That'll make it second and four. Tackled after positive yardage. That makes it first and ten. Where's the two? Two. Right here. Here. Check three. Check three. Check three. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That will bring us second and three. He's taken down at the 13. Look like offsides. Here's the official call. Offside. Defense. Automatic first down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Red, Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Alert read on that play. He didn't have too much time to react to that pass. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Watch the backer, watch the backer. Mike 55, Mike 55. Red two. Blue four. Blue four. Throws to the halfback, touchdown. how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. It was an 11-play, 80-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-0. The Volunteers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. And a pickup of about seven. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Two-yard loss for the halfback. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Gain of three yards. Roger, Roger. That'll bring up 36. Come on, baby. See what you got. 
Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-0, Volunteer. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Tennessee is up a score. Red two. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle at the 42-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. And they're coming after this punter. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Got it, and brought down immediately. Number 45 on the tackle with the 26-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They come out in a five-wide set. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. And this one is a beauty. And he muffed it. Well, that's exactly what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. Concentration for a return man is of the utmost importance. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tennessee up seven points. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 30. Flips it, middle to the running back. And he's tackled at the 38. And he's immediately tackled. He's hit immediately. That brings up second and nine. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll make it third and five. Mike 52, Mike 52. Easy, two. Quick out to his receiver. He's at the 40, and down he goes at the 34. Well, if this defense keeps taking chances with these blitzes, sure, they may get to the quarterback once in a while, but they also are giving up some big plays like that one right there. Steps out of bounds at the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, second down. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down at the 23-yard line. Number five brings him down at the 23-yard line. First down. Tennessee is up by a touchdown. Throws out to the running back, no good. Number 20, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it's it second and 10. 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. 
And now he's got room to run. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Knocked out of bounds at the seven. No gain on the play. That brings up second and goal. Up the middle for a nice game. of six on the play. Makes it third and goal. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Touchdown, balls! This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. on the extra point. It was a 13 play, 69 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown. So the score now 14 nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. From his own goal line. And they push him out at about the 15 yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Q26, Q26. Let's it fly. From their own 15 yard line, it's second down. Fires that quickly incomplete. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open, he just misfired. Gets to about the 24-yard line. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. The Volunteers are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick pass. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Just throws this one away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. That's a game of 18 in the play. That makes it first and 10. Runs in, and he's not short of the line of scrimmage. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. A minute left in the half. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tennessee's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. The 10. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Kill, kill. Two. That makes it first and goal. Quick 
strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 57-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. The score now, 21-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. Got the corner. Tackle made at the 26. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And they make the stop at the 37-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, and he's going to feel that one tomorrow. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made at the 46. Georgia will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. He's at the 40. Great concentration to haul it in. And he hits him hard at the 37. First down. Well, we've got a player down, and let's hope that's nothing serious. Check, check, check. Fox 2, Fox 2. Check 31, check 31. Five wide. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. The Bulldogs using their third and final timeout. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Kicks away, and it's off the upright, no good. He clanks it off the upright, no good. And it hits the upright, no good. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Here they come. He airs it out. And they intercept it. The sophomore safety. we played a half. Tennessee leads it 21-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Let's not get too carried away by the stats in the first half, but it is noteworthy. Less than six yards per pass attempt. Now, we talk to coaches around the country. They always want those explosive plays, big chunk plays. Not getting it in this game might be an indication there's not really that deep threat that strikes fear into the defense on the outside. Uh, the, the hardest thing for a corner is always facing a speedster, facing somebody that can stretch the field because then it makes you backpedal and really makes you, you know, take away that deep ball first and bail out of there. And then sometimes it opens up the underneath stuff where you give a cushion to a receiver. So I think the offense has to find playmakers. They got to find ways to take shots, run some different routes to find some creative ways to get some guys open because right now, the little dink and dunk stuff isn't working. You're not threatening me down the field. I don't need to cover the whole field. We're bringing everybody up near the line of scrimmage and just taking away the short stuff. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Fred Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Number 15, deep to return. 
It's fielded at the two. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. He makes it to the 25-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and ten. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. That's a great tackle at the 33-yard line. That's a gain of eight. Left, left, left. That'll bring up third and two. Down. My 52. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. Fourth down. The Bulldogs wide receiver, we hope can make a comeback and get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. He's to the 40. Right down at the 43-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He airs it out. No, incomplete. What a huge play that would have been. The defensive back showed some good speed to stay with it and tip it away. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Slings it, and he's level at the 45. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it 37. Moves up in the pocket. They bring their quarterback down. At the 27, Georgia's been throwing the punches, and they're all landing right now. You're telling me, Brad, just an incredible effort in all three phases, and they're sitting on this comfortable lead with a quarter to go. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Going to go across the middle, caught, brought down, right around the 36-yard line. Brings up second and one. Grabs it and hammered right there. Number 25 takes him down for a loss behind the line with the 36 yard line. That'll make it third and one. I got him, I got him. He fights forward to about the 39. That's a game of three on the play. Here they come. They'll make the sack. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks would get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football. But the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Guns it to the left. And he got it! 
He's pushed out of bounds at the 29. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Inside the 10. And he's tackled around the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. From the one yard line. Second down. They come out in a five wide set. Touchdown, Tennessee! There are some guys when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He makes the PAT. Tennessee, the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and six. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. And number 37 makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. I tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. He lets it fly. Intercepted. It's the linebacker. You don't want to criticize a quarterback for trying to make something happen, but I'm not really sure who he thought he was throwing the ball to there. Tennessee up big right now in this one. And down he goes, right around the 16-yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Well, Herbie, we really didn't see this one coming. Total dominance through three quarters. Tennessee leads it 28-0.
Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Makes the sack. That is a loss of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Third and long now after the sack. Steps out of bounds at the 22. Game of 13 yards. That'll make it fourth and six. Oh, excellent punt. They bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. The defender had it and then dropped it. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Number 18, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Throws a bullet over the middle. They'll bring him down at about the 49. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Tennessee looking to build on this commanding lead here. Nice run to the outside. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Gives it off. <laughs> Runs outside for a nice game. First and 10, ball on the 27. They give to the tailback. 
And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Tennessee comes to the line in complete control in this game. And he is drilled at the 17-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Georgia staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.